Dragons, what's up? It's Nikita, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be continuously showing you guys how I'm catfishing as well as my shaving routine. I get questions all the time on how I take care of my unwanted body hair and being the girl that I am of Mexican Asian descent, you know, I just have very thick, hair and also the fact maybe that in the past lifetime I might have been a boy, then I get really thick hair and I have a beard and I have a bad five o'clock shadow and I have really um, a lot of neck hair and things like that. And for the first time, I wanted to show you guys how I actually take care of all of the stubborn hair that I get on my face as well as just my makeup routine, sit down, chat about things that are going on. Clearly a lot has been going on in the internet and it seems like I'm just, everywhere. And I guess you know you're that bitch when you cause all this conversation. That's what my good, 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 good friend, um, Beyonce, my queen, told me once. So, oh, and wait, hold on a second. She's sponsored today. I just want to say a huge thank you to Finishing Touch Flawless for sponsoring this video. They have been a secret in my makeup bag, in my handbag, in lots of different things because of the fact that, like I said, I just stubble and you know, hair, unwanted body stuff, you know, it's just, it's very difficult for a girl out here. So they have been a secret of mine for a while, so I cannot wait to share you guys. And I'm just so excited, like, oh. <gasps> I just got a flashback to like two seconds ago when I shaved my neck hair, but we're gonna get into that, so. So this is how I look without um, Facetune. I know it's a little shocking how humble I actually look, but you guys, under every bad bitch is a humble girl. Like I'd be telling you guys all the time. But anyway, so I'm gonna get into it because Lord knows we do not wanna see me without makeup for an extended amount of periods. Not that I don't look cute, but like, I just look better with makeup, so we're gonna, you know, get into it. I'm gonna show you guys these cool little tools that I have found and discovered. I know what you're thinking, like, Nikita, what do you mean? That looks like just a casual little lipstick. What, what do you mean that's gonna take care of all your man hair? Uh, bitch, I said what I said. You guys, let me introduce you to my little friend. This is the Flawless Hair Removal. Amazing, amazing. It literally looks like a tiny little lipstick component. Don't get too close to my lace, sir. Look how cute it is, a rose gold, a white, a little fabulousness. Like, you know, me being Nikita, like I have to use very gorgeous things because <laughs> clearly I'm so fucking gorgeous. Like, so this is a little compact little moment and you literally slide this button up right here. Listen, if you're a girl like me, I love vibrations, you know? Whether it's your energy, whether it's, you know, other things, it's just great because this bad boy actually takes care of all of my stubborn face hair. So I'm going to show you how I'm gonna take care of my face hair. This is so, I don't know why I feel embarrassed. Like, I just feel like I've never shown this before. Like, wouldn't you feel some type of way like showing your, I, you know what? We're gonna cut that stigma right now because I, I grew up my hairs out just a little bit, just a, a tiny bit for you guys, just to show, okay? So I mainly take this on the chin area, the upper lip. I get hair all over, like literally everywhere, so. Oh my God, you can literally hear the hairs. And I kind of just like take it back and forth because I feel like the hair grows in all directions. Obviously, like I'll scoot it up and everything, but there's literally no pain to it. And for some reason, I'm like really hairy right here and bitch my sideburns. I literally will just take this everywhere. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but like I feel like I just have hair all over my face. And it's so gentle, like it's not even getting my face red or like irritating or anything. And I feel like sometimes with razors, things get really irritation nation. And I'd rather just have my little compact moment, but it's cool because like you can literally, okay, do you guys want to be really grossed out? Okay, it's not really that gross, but it's just like literally hair, but like you can remove this top part. There's not that many hairs, okay? You probably won't even be able to see it on the camera. Why are you zooming up so close? I'm, my cameraman's literally trying to f***ing expose me. My skin feels absolutely flawless and soft because I don't have the plucky, gross hair situation anymore. I'm going to go into the brows. And now my brows have been somewhat of a journey. I tried to get them microbladed, as we can see. I know, Mom, I said I wasn't gonna tattoo my face, but I f***ing tattooed my face. It just was, you know, we all make mistakes. What can I say? I'm not perfect. Anyways, so I literally grow hairs from here all the way down to here. So I have to handle the hairs all the time. And like I said, every time I do makeup, I have to keep this space 
very nice and clean and bomb so that I can lay down my eyeshadow. So this is the Flawless Brows. It is the same kind of machinery as the face demonstration that I gave you, but this one is a lot smaller and precise. It literally looks like a pen. Like that's the thing I love about these products is that they're so like discreet and we love a deal moment. You know, like not everyone's just, you know, out and about. It's the same thing. Slide the situation and I'm gonna get these brow hairs. I like it especially for the middle. Can you hear it? It's snatching the hairs. I feel like you can. Like this is like an ASMR. All right, you guys, so I have to admit that I might have, you know, not grew-eth the hair-eth long-eth enough this. I'll admit that I did not grow out my hair specifically for this moment to, you know, really give you the long hair of like a full beard moment. You know, like I just really can't expose myself that hard on the internet. However, I do have a treat for you because I get like neck hair, which is like, you know, like the, the nape of, oh, look at my cameraman already. For Zooming in Nick already trying to like get my neck hair. I get this situation, which is normal. Like anyone gets hair right here. I know people who laser it off. I know people who wax it off. I know people who, I don't know. I actually, I've never had a conversation about people with and their neck hairs, but I'm having a conversation now. So that's the important thing. It's like getting the step out there. But regardless, I always shave this area specifically because I'm always wearing different colored wigs. And my biggest pet peeve when I'm wearing like blonde or maybe like rainbow, sometimes neon, basically anything that's not my brown hair, it just looks so Wax. So I'm gonna show you with the Flawless Body Razor right here. This one is more of a serious situation. This, you know, obviously you can use all over your body, whatever, but this girl, you hear the deeper vibrations, you guys. You need to like listen up. Like, look, this is a light vibration, you know, just for like a more like, oh yeah, just a brow. But bitch. Okay, so I'm really gonna show you guys how I snatch my neck hairs, literally. See, normally when I'm lazy and I like can't shave, I'll just like, you know, put like a little couple bobby pins up there, but girl, it has been too long. So I'm going to shave this right now. I cannot believe I'm showing this, but it is something that needs to be shown because like I said, it's a problem that every girl, guy, and everything else in between, non-gender conforming, whatever, these days, 2019, hello, people go through. Hair is just not a cute thing. I'm just, I'm sorry. Body hair, maybe like on some guys is like a cute moment, whatever, but like, girl, not on me. <sighs> Amen. <gasps> so I cut most of it, as you can see, just the kind of longer areas, notice how some of the hairs are now gone, but I will be honest, I usually get help with this. So Jacqueline, and she has the due diligence of shaving my neck hairs. The real question is like, what will Nikita not do for views these days? And I don't know, I really don't. You know, now I'm shaving my back hairs. I might shave my ass hairs too. Actually, that's funny. You know, I don't get hairs on my ass, like thank God. Okay, but look how gorgeous and hairless and put that down. <laughs> Look how naked and gorgeous the skin is. Also, can we take note of the fact that the skin is not irritated, it's not red, it's not looking crazy. See, now when I put my wig down, ah! Uh, and we are still not done with my tricks and tools and things. Okay, we get it. We've seen these rollers. We've seen these gorgeous contouring moments and whatever. And like, you know, normally we just see it like this. But bitch. Kind of just like. And the thing I love about this is the head is actually removable. You just twist it off as so. And now I'm gonna attach the under eye massager. And with this, it's a flat little surface moment. And I usually like to keep these in the fridge so they're really nice and cool. And already just without the vibrations, it's so relaxing and amazing, but then once you turn it on, and I really do feel like it kind of just reduces the appearance of redness because it is so cooling and calming to the skin. Even afterwards, I feel like I'm still vibrating. Anyways, okay, so now we are finally moving on to the legitimate makeup routine. I am now hairless, 
I am now contoured and I am now flawless using the gorgeous flawless system hair removal and contouring. So now we're gonna finally move on to real makeup. So this is my Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. This is a orange color corrector. This goes hand in hand with the system that we literally just did because I get a really bad five o'clock shadow from being ethnic, of course. And um, you know, maybe other things in my past life or whatever. So I like to use this to cancel out any dark gray areas on the face. So I like to place this down, blend it out prior to using any foundation or concealer because I actually end up using a lot less because the actual situation is color corrected. Okay, so now that we have our color corrector on, I'm gonna put on my foundation. I've obviously been obsessed with the Hourglass foundation stick. This is everything. I'm gonna post a Q&A on my story right now. We'll see what kind of questions we get. Look how amazing the foundation is laying. First of all, on top of the gorgeous hairless face that we just have right now, but also on the color corrector. It's like not showing through at all. You guys, I understand my wig lace is a little distracting. So I'm just gonna be kind of doing this moment with my Kylie skin headband because I was invited to Kylie skin, like met Kylie Jenner, like whatever. Oh my God, you guys. Can we get a tease of what you are working on for us? So I'm actually working on a couple of things. I really want to stress to people that like, it might seem like I don't do a lot, but a bitch does a lot. And especially with like Dragon Beauty and everything, like I'm so excited. I know a lot of people have been waiting for just the next upcoming thing. And honestly, the wait will not be for much longer. And I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm gonna ask my PR team, myself, but something is coming within the next month. How is your skin so perfect? First of all, my skin is not perfect. Um, I just know how to trick people by using a lot of makeup and Facetune. People just need to understand their strengths and weaknesses and good skin is just not mine. Okay, so recently I've been loving this Morphe pink powder. I found this on set one day and ever since then I've been obsessed and I set my under eye. Like I said, I don't claim to be a makeup artist at all. I claim to be a catfish. Why are you such a bad bitch? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like honestly, it's just cause I really don't care anymore. Like I think that's why people think I'm a bad bitch because I just am like, not a weak bitch, could never be that. Don't know that vocabulary, I've never heard of that. And I think my personality is just very like, either you like me or you don't like me. Like there's really just no in between. And it's just kind of like, for me, I've, I've always felt like my personality is kind of like a take it or leave it. Like it's definitely not for everybody. But at the end of the day, I feel like I'm definitely not a gray area. You know, my color corrector definitely takes care of that. There's no gray, it's either white or black, pink or like, dusty or something. So this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I use the shade 345 and I use this giant like Luxie brush. I think this is like the only Luxie brush that I own. I will be honest, the rest of them are Morphe, but I just like this one cause it's really big and I just pack it on the skin and I feel like it kind of just fills in my pores. Maybe that's a bad thing, but it doesn't break me out in any type of way, but I just feel like it just makes everything look flawless. What is your take on how Facetune affects how young people see themselves? Girl, oh my God, that is a deep question. Um, I mean, I think that we all are real. Okay, well, that, we're not all real about it, but I feel like some people, I don't know, I feel like people nowadays know that like almost everything is fake that we see online. It's like edited, snatched, altered and whatever. And I feel like people are just more and more immune to it. I'm gonna do this on the side a little bit. How do you pick yourself up when you're feeling down? I have had troubles with this one, honestly, and most recently I feel like it's just been like a different thing, but you know, like everyone goes through different struggles, I feel like. The way I look at it is it's very yin yang, and I know that's like so Asian for me to say, but it's like you can't have like all of the positive without having the like negative to balance you. So in my life, I have had these like crazy successes over the past couple of months and like I'm going to and a couple obviously just continuing on and whatever. But especially in these past couple of months, like I've just been like really on my grind, 
really just been pussy stunting my way <laughs> to like getting what I want and everything. And the bad stuff has just been coming at me like left and right and it mostly has to do with just like my personal life and just with like relationships and stuff like not only like obviously <laughs> not only just like those relationships but also like friendships too you know but for me like the way I like to pick myself up is definitely a lot of food it involves lots of burgers fries like I mean that's my normal go-to but it's like even more so and I definitely also like to take my time to myself like I feel like that's an important thing that not a lot of people like to do or like like to like be in their feels by themselves, but I feel like I kind of like isolate myself. I have to like really take time to myself to like figure everything out, to like get myself back in the groove. And then I'll go, you know, hang out with friends and like try to get my mood up and stuff. It's just, it's hard. It's really hard. Like there's no easy way to say it, but like I just like have to remind myself to be a bad bitch because it's like at the end of the day, you're the person controlling how you feel and your emotions. It's like, yes, you have the outside influences of like what's really going down, but it's really all in your mental if you think about it. I know this is like not a high thought. It might have come from a high thought, but like this is a real thought, sober. And it's like you controlling it. So I'm like, why am I gonna sit here and beat myself up all fucking day? Like everyone else is already against me, so might as well not be against my damn self. How many times have you been canceled? I've been canceled a number of times, honestly. But she's still here somehow. The show's still going. So now is one of my favorite parts in my routine. So I started obviously adding a little bit of bronzer onto my nose. But when I wipe off the baking powder, I go in with my Dragon Beauty Transformation Face Powder. And what I like to do is I wipe off the powder with this. And notice how this side is starting to look insane and amazing. And I start to bring this upwards underneath the eye and I lift it up on the tail end. And it's literally like you guys can start to see like this is like almost an eraser. It's kind of like cleaning everything up and starting to lift and snatch it even more. And what I especially love about this is how blurring it is. Like it gives you this like face tune effect. Obviously, that's what I need. And that's the effect that I was like so hardly like trying to chase for because like I just wanted to look like my photos which might not ever happen <laughs> maybe one day so I'm just gonna kind of leave this side kind of crazy so you guys can see the difference I just go back in with my bronzing brush this is a morphe m527 just the thicker one that everyone uses and whatever I have left of the product I kind of just buff in the edge of that so notice how this side is just so much more clean amazing and flawless and then this side is still definitely really cute but it just doesn't have that pull. And especially if you had eyeshadow on right here, you could literally snatch and clean all that up and like this side of the nose contour. We're not done, but we're getting there. So what did you want to be when you were in middle school? So when I was in middle school, I mean, I've always wanted to be a pop star and I feel like I've successfully done that. I feel like I live a pop star lifestyle, but I think that for like two seconds, like in the middle school era, I really wanted to be like either like a graphic novelist. Like I, I was so obsessed with anime and drawing. Like you could not tell me that I was like not killing it. Like I would just draw, draw, draw and draw some more. Like I always was obsessed with like drawing these gorgeous, beautiful girls. I think for like a second I wanted to be like a tattoo artist cause I thought that would be cool or just do like comic books and anime. So I've been obsessed with these Maybelline powders. These are the Fit Me powders. I'm gonna use the one in light. It's number 15. Top five pussy stunts you've done. It's crazy because like I never actually like to watch my videos or anything back because I feel like it's so weird and especially too after like editing it for like hours and hours especially with the pussy stunts and like with the music and stuff like I kind of just get over it and like I just like kind of cringe at watching myself a little bit but if I had to pick five well, Victoria's Secret obviously was like one of my absolute favorite ones. Like not only was it like, it just meant so much to me, but I think also too, like I just visually, like it was just so amazing. And like the way I was able to put it all together and like with the production crew and with everything, despite some people trying to sue me, <laughs> we won't say anything about that. Almost all my Coachella ones were like my favorite. I think, oh, the lime green one from uh, two years ago, Coachella was like, beyond everything. Both of those were done by um, Live Rich Media, who's like a great friend of mine who like records me sometimes like, well actually no, he's only recorded the Victoria's Secret one and that one. So it's like only like the really crazy moments he does. I really love the one I did in New York going into the subway. They're like, 
I like cash in my hair to my ass. Do the dash and make it. When I was in the subway, like doing the absolute most. The one recently I did with Bretman in Vegas, that one was a really good one. Okay, this is a very important part. I like to go back in and bake my nose again. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH10 like angled brush. This is like necessary and I'm actually using the pink powder that we used earlier. Okay, but me with a lash is a whole different type of bitch. Now answering the next question, are you okay, mama? I am fine now, thank the Lord. I have went through like a little like phase. I just like really think I just forgot that I was a bad bitch. Like I just think that like sometimes things or situations happen in your life and you just kind of forget who you are, you know? And I don't know, I feel like sometimes just things rock your world and you know, you just kind of like need to reset. Do you love me because I love you? I love you. I love you especially more now because I have lashes on. So now I'm gonna be using some brown liner. I've been obsessed with using brown eyeliner as of recent, this one from Benefits. I feel like brown liner is just a little bit less intense and I'm an intense bitch for sure. So I'm like anything that can like kind of calm me down for being as crazy as I am, I'm more than willing to do. Do you like to work out? Absolutely not. I hate to work out. I will never, in a mil I will never be that bitch that likes to work out. I do it, but I just like, I don't like it. Like I'm not that person that's like, oh my God, I need to go work out. And I've also realized now that I don't think I can be in a relationship with someone who's like really, really into working out, like to the point where they kind of like, if you eat a cheeseburger, they're like, you know? Cause I, f I feel like I vibe with people off of eating. What is the one trick for trans makeup that snatches them up other than the dragon egg? I think that I'm obsessed with contouring and like blush placement and all that stuff because for me, like I really go in and chisel my face in a specific type of way to achieve a more feminine look. So I feel like contour and blush for me. Cause even too, like I kind of contour with blush and even highlight a little bit. Like, so all the steps that I did, especially with my nose, cause like I really wanted to snatch it. And honestly a lash, like if you get a really good lash, it's a wrap. Someone said, you're dumb. Oh my God, I, I wish I was dumb to be honest. If I was dumb, you wouldn't be watching me or responding to my story. Who's the dumb one? How many tattoos, how many tattoos do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tattoos. All of them are dragons except for one. What's your favorite spice? I hate spicy food, I know. Everyone's literally gonna come for me in the comments, but I cannot do spicy food at all. Like the other day I tried a hot Cheeto for the first time, like one, and it fully brought me to tears. Like that's how much of a bitch I am when it comes to like spicy, but then like asked me to go get like in my boobs done five times and I'm here to do it. Like I won't, I won't even blink, I won't even bruise. Like my body will be good, but spicy food I cannot handle. Advice how to remove toxic people out of your life, bitch, remove them immediately. Sometimes I'm like over here like saging my house. What was that tweet that's like, me saging, but fully knowing that I'm the toxic person. Like, I'm like, Fuck. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I just, you gotta just remove them. Sometimes you just like make excuse after excuse. So then sometimes you just gotta do it. <laughs> Someone said, do you miss him? Who? Miss who? Bitch who? All right, you guys, so that is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot believe that I go from this to this and how I started all hairy AF and looking wild. And now into this pink fantasy. Look, I'm real about it. I do not look the same without makeup, but with makeup on, bitch, you cannot tell me I'm not that bitch. And I just wanna say a huge thank you again to Finishing Touch Flawless. I will leave the link in the description down below if you guys wanna check them out. Like I said, if we learn nothing else from today, vibrations girl we are only vibrating on the highest degree this year going into 2020 girl thank you guys again so much for watching don't forget to like this video give it a big thumbs up oh my god that was such a youtuber big thumbs up <laughs> and make sure you subscribe click the bell icon become part of the house of dragon the dragon fantasy the dragon tales thank you guys again so much for watching and don't forget breathe fire my dragon oh. I want all my clothes.